The number one thing you should know if you're a new First Amendment auditor is pick your battles. Okay? Have you heard that phrase, it's not a hill I want to die on? Well, you may get to that hill a few times. You may, you may come under a circumstances where a police officer is absolutely out of his mind, angry, clearly unlawfully doing things, detaining you, whatever, or saying that you are going to go to jail if you don't ID yourself, blah, blah, blah. It's not all about uh, you looking cool on a video and, uh, and going to jail. Because I'll tell you what, once you get put in that car and you're arrested and you go to jail, there isn't anybody out here watching this that's going to say, oh, well, hell, I'll bail you out. But if you're telling me that if I don't do this, I'm going to go to jail, then here's my name. Of course, you don't have your ID on you because you took my last tip, right? And at some point, a cop will say, you know, this could all be over with if you just do this or that or this or that. If they truly aren't going to let you out of there, and if you get them to admit on camera that you're going to go to jail unless you provide an ID, even though they have no suspicion, that's your choice, man. This is where maybe you've got some rookie cop in there who's who's been playing Rambo his whole life and uh, and uh, thinking he can he can command anything of the public, which is what they're used to. Admit it. I mean, we've had guys that have uh, gone to jail and proven a point and uh, had a court case and uh, walked away with some bank. Police officers have what they call applied immunity, which means that for the most part. Things and mistakes that they make in the course of their duties are not liable to them personally. So really what's happening, the sad case of all this is, is when somebody really gets uh, gets screwed over, an auditor, and they go to court and they win and, uh, you know, get a big payoff. But uh, if they are clearly, clearly out of their, uh, out of their authority, uh, acting under car color of law, and they do things that a reasonable person would say that is clearly a violation of a person's civil rights. Say they're down there just pummeling somebody over and over and over for no reason, guys in handcuffs or whatever, then that's, that's a different story. But choose your battles, decide whether it's a sword you want to fall on.